I've been noticing this rascal every now and then when I go out and do my yearly mowing. Just dangling out there, ready to impale me, leave me for dead, pop my tra tractor tires. I don't have my tractor with me. All I got is my arms. Y'all think I could get that out of there since I'm noticing once the weeds get up high. Yeah, it's, it's like one of them Viet Cong bungee sticks I heard about. Well, let's see if we could get that out. I found this here fancy tripod in my truck. Let's let me tape my camera to the front of the truck and see if you can see me. What's the wage? Will I get this off through sheer willpower or not? It's down in there. You know it has a T-post end on it down in Texas clay. I don't know. I think of throwing out black back is in order. What do y'all think, Internet? You comfy? Let me get some gloves on. Now, I'm hoping that you're focused on that because you are indeed Gorilla Tape, duct tape to my grill of my truck. But uh, I've noticed that ranch impaler a couple of times. I call it the ranch hand impaler 4000 unit. But by the time I go to find it again, the grass has grown up and it's a mystery until I mow, until spring comes. Or like here, when I graded the, the road, it behaved unseemly towards me. Nefarious attempts. Y'all think I'd get this out of here or not? I should have pulled it out with my tractor when I saw it. Ranch hand and paler 4000. Just you and me, buddy. You versus me versus the. Woo it's down in there, everyone. I don't know. I don't know. Tell you what, let me break out some some tools. It's quite a windstorm today, so I don't know if you're walking there in the breeze or not. I bet you you are. Got a shovel. Don't have any chains. If I had chains, I'd hook a chain from the bumper to that thing, and I'd just drag it right out of there. I might have a rope in there. We might get to the rope phase. Let's see if I could. Convince it to come out on its own accord. Without stabbing me to death. Ranch hand 4000 impaler unit. Special install. Right down in the weeds. Well, you don't need to see it but once. That's right before you go to the emergency room. That's, uh, it, you know... It's possible, too, you could just catch a tire and just stick a tire in it. Nothing better than to have a tractor broke down in the rain and mud. You see how much traffic's on this road here, right? So I'm sure if I impaled my what valve femoric artery on a bent over T post, I'm sure that help would be forthwith and with coming. Certainly an ambulance wouldn't be more than an hour and 45 minutes away. I'm sure I wouldn't bleed out by then. Stick a finger in the gash, which would be, you know, a T-post shaped gash, six inches long down your leg. Woo now I got through the soft soil. I'm down in the hard stuff, boys and girls. Down in the hard stuff. I don't even see the tea, the T's on there. The, I don't think I could get it out without the chain. I think it's gonna win this round, internet. I don't have but a truck and a shovel on me. And it's got years of commitment to this hole in the ground. Years of commitment. It knows more about this spot in the earth than I'll ever know, ever imagine. But here's the deal. In the 15 minutes it would take me to go get a chain and my tractor, this here Texas grass will grow up two and a half feet. I won't ever find that again. Just me, a shovel, and a thing of popcorn. Oh, I 
up against the Ranch Hand Killer 4000. chain in the back seat underneath underneath that seat maybe we don't know now this neighbor here he's got some cattle so I don't see him but I bet you as soon as I'd step in if there's a bull in that pen he'd take notice come right on over and offer me a Texas howdy a two-horned howdy is what he'd do stuff that I've heard tell about. I love working next to barbed wire in no way, shape, or form. Is that going to hurt me? What did he put this in with? Well, you can see it's that it's driven down another six inches deeper than a normal T-post, then bent over. Well, I'll tell you, former, whoever did this could have been myself in another life. They sure did know what they was doing, making it impossible to make yourself safe. Go ahead, mow that. Mow that hedge. Mow it. See what happens. If you got 50-50 odds that it'll either crawl up your leg or it'll pop your tire. I guess radiator. Not 50-50. There's a 20% chance your radiator would get it. So 20% chance of radiator. 40% chance of femoric artery. 40% chance of just a flat tire. 100% chance it'll ruin your day and cost you a lot of money. All three of them options got dollar bills written all over them. You know, in the time it's going to take me to dig this out, I could go get my tractor a mile away, drive back at three miles an hour, hook a chain on this, which is what I should have done when I first time I ever saw it. My tractor has chains on it. Just for these kind of actualities. Eventualities, both things in this case. An actual eventuality. Oh, I heard my fiberglass handle cracking in protest. Listen, it's still gonna cost me money. I'm gonna break a shovel on this deal. I am just about ready to concede compete. Just make it a fence post and chain kind of a day. Seriously, they drove it down an extra six inches. Now I'm mad at somebody that I don't even know. Let's see if I got some old rope or something. What do you think, Internet? I got some, found me some mountain climber, some mountain climbing goat rope. Probably has a real name. I don't know what it is. All right. Take two. Steve versus the Impaler 4000 versus physical manpower did not happen. All joking aside, I am not going to back this up in a hurry and jam that out of there. Let that Impaler 4000 go flying up from this rope, go through my windshield and stick me in the eye. That is something that I did not calculate, but is as likely to be an outcome as anything else. 
I am going to mosey along nice and slow. Just a little half hitch in here, just a half hitch. Just a little half hitch. Run that out to the bumper, put a slip knot on it. Then, nice slow as she goes. Matt's off-road recovery would not approve of my pulling out fence post techniques. I guarantee you, he'd tell me to use the, you know, <laughs> that's, that would be the opposite. You would not want to use a MAPS rope. And he would tell you that on a fence post. And then, you know what? Kinetic energy left inside your, your rope when you're pulling a fence post out. Nice, even pressure. That's why a chain. This is where a chain is the right thing. Yanking a car out where you need it to move and not come back and kill you. That's when you use a Matt's off-road rope. All right. Looky here. I'm going to tie it off. Right here underneath you, so you get this angle. I wonder what this video will sound like. There is a windstorm, something fierce today. I don't want to uncoil my whole rope, so I'm going to do a lazy man's tie. A couple of half hitches here. Leave it kind of sloppy. All right. What do you, everybody get? Will the rope broke or the post come out? And if the post comes out, will come flying out of that hole, go through my windshield and impale me. I don't know. was in there way more than I planned. Cut my rope it did, internet. Cut my rope. Well, I'm going to back, pull forward, grab it this way, and pull it that way now. Give it another yahoo. I'll hang you on my tailgate. Take three. All right, ranch hand and paler versus Steve. Take three. Dug it out. Look at there. She's a wiggly down in that. I still think I'm going to have to get a jack and a jack it out straight out. We'll try one more time before I give up. I'm going to tape you to the tailgate. My special Gorilla Tape tripod. I hope you got a decent view. I don't know. Yeah, well, I'll tape you down there. Good probability a rope will smack you. Now I'm going to give a run and start 50 miles an hour. Pull it out that way. My kingdom for a chain. This would already be out of there. And I had a chain. This Texas soil is no joke, let me tell you. All right, this is the last time. Last time. Remind me to not go mountain climbing with this rope after I used it like this. All right, this is the right way to do a quick splice. So you don't try to tie them like that. Then the weak spot, they'll pull out. You make them one unit, and you just tie that in uh, a knot. That's all you gotta do, just your standard little knot. All right, last time on this nonsense. I don't think you can see me. I think you're looking up at the sky. I'm going to lower you down with my Gorilla Tape. I, or maybe raise you up. I don't know.
This is Steve giving up. The Impaler 4000 lives to kill another day. Potentially kill another day. Here's what I'm going to do. I cannot leave that. But now that I have done this, I'll just loop that right over the fence as my early warning system. And then when I get my backhoe and dig them ditches or the uh, culverts, I'll come dig that one out. At least it's down here on the ground now. Here, I'll tuck it up underneath that fence or something. There we go. There we go. There. A little a modicum a bit more safe. I removed my Gorilla Tape tripod that you're all using. I'm going to drag that little tail like it belongs all the way back to the ranch. Tired. All right. Steve, a uh, failure. Fail, Steve posting a failure video. Like and subscribe if you too are a failure. <laughs>